My name is Lucas Rinder. I'm from Highland, Illinois. I'm a senior here at Blackburn College. I'm majoring in business management, minoring in economics. And it's uh, relatively close to home, so I can still go home anytime I want to and, uh, and uh, work. Just do all I can and be close. That's really about it. I just remember going out there as a little kid, I guess little then, and uh, and doing what I could to help the team, and, and I just kicked the ball, and it was, wasn't anything special, just a little toe poke, and, and felt like it went so slow, and then it just kind of crawled in, and everybody was going nuts, and it was just a great moment. It was, it was nice to start the, my career off with that. The best thing about soccer is just hanging out with the boys, doing uh, hanging out here, just being goofballs and whatnot, and we like to have a good time before practice, get all hyped up, and then have two hours of seriousness. And then we come back here and just can be ourselves, and no one can see us, and, and we just love to have fun. Just, just being with my boys is what I love. So after college, I would like to go back to the farm and, and bring what I learned from college into it, preferably the business sides of things, and kind of help out that and bring it more up to date. You know, it's not old just going out there and putting crops in the ground. It's a lot of uh, nutrient management and business and sales and, and it's, it, gets, it gets pretty intense sometimes so it's kind of nice that I know a little bit more about that than I did before. And Before I came to college I was told that if I wanted to own it I have to have a college degree so I can't just uh, just never go to college and just do what I was doing ever. So it's nice and I, looking back on it, it was, it was a good idea. I learned a lot more than I thought I was going to. Role, model, role models in my life would be my father. He's taught me a lot of things, uh, you know, how to start something and, and finish it. My work ethic, for sure. I was I was never given anything easy. I was never told I can quit or whatnot. It was always always really hard. And, and Rob knows that. And he's he follows right along, so I can't slack off. Even if I come here, he's he's hard on me, which is which is good. I need that. It's it keeps me going. And I think everybody else kind of picks up on how hard I work, so they kind of follow the lead, which is nice. eating breakfast and you know talking to the other captain on what how we're going to handle the day and whatnot and then uh, go to classes stuff like that we'll have lunch with the team or whoever's around and then uh, we come in here we'll hang out we'll go to practice we'll come out come back hang out again then after that which is nice because then we all meet up in one room or another and then we just you know play video games and do all the stuff college kids do I guess you know hang out get loud get rowdy it's kind of fun it's a really good day My leadership style is pretty pretty direct and I like to hold people accountable for things like being on time or cleaning the locker room or not getting too rowdy at practice, you know, not harping on each other. And uh, I think it's I think it's pretty important to be different with other people. Like there's some people I can yell at in person in front of everybody and say, you know, get your act together and whatnot, but there's some people I gotta pull aside and say, Hey man, this is not going good and it's it's big. I mean it helps the whole group come together if they're all treated a little differently. I can't, it's not just a straight line. You know, some guys need different treatment and some guys, you know, can't handle it. But that's what yeah, a good leader would adjust to. If I could be a part of one family, I'd probably be a part of the Annie Griffith family. Because I love how, I love how old it is and how everything's always so fun and laid back. And there's all got good meetings to every story. I like little OP, he's always a good, good kid trying to get himself you know, out of trouble and it's, it's fun. It's nice to watch it kind of see how the world was back then. It's a little different. My favorite pizza would have to be Casey's. We go to Casey's a lot here at school. We always get the little tabs and collect the extra ones and we try a lot. Everything, anything, some different. Sausage is our go-to, but uh, we try macaroni and cheese or buffalo chicken. We had taco one time, which wasn't that bad, but I'm not a lettuce guy. So it was, it, I choked it down, but it was okay. But I think my favorite would have to be would have to be Casey's.